Welcome to part number 26 of Gran Turismo 1. This is the Moon Chicane, and today we're going to take a little bit of a detour and do the spot races. Now, these don't count towards the 100% completion, but they're here, and why not do them? Now, part 26 was supposed to be the special stage Route 11 All Night Enduro number 1. However, in the middle of the live stream that Mikhail 24RD and I were having, my computer crashed. Therefore, the recording that I recorded up until the 14th lap was corrupted. Therefore, I had to do the race again, which it didn't matter because we were using this Viper GTS R and it was dominant. It was way too OP, but it didn't matter, honestly. Um, so instead, for part 26, we're going to do the five spot races that are offered here, beginning from left to right, and high speed ring is going to be the first round. Now, I went ahead and checked out what cars we're going to face off with, and... For the high-speed ring, we're doing Class B cars, so I'm going to get in my SVX and use it for the high-speed ring race. And away we go. Alright, for this race, this is our starting grid, and it looks like the Soarer and the Galant are going to be the two hardest cars to fight. Everybody else is pretty much on equal footing with us. Round, actually this is not a challenge, I want to say round one high speed ring, but this is just a single race. Now, I think the purpose of these races is so that way they can just be a quick races. It's kind of like arcade mode, but for the Grand Tripper mode. So that way you can use your garage cars and just get into a quick race and, you know, just have some fun. Really. But, um, yeah, they do give you some credits. I believe they only give you a thousand credits, and on top of that, if they're really meant for... Improving your skills, in my opinion. But you know, doing these races, this is good for us because it allows us to use quite a majority of the cars that we're really not going to use in GT mode. Since we're already at the end of the game, you know, apart from the spot races, the uh, last three segments are going to be the two Enduros and the World Championship, so. Well, I'm using race cars up, you know, after this. And yeah, since, like I said, since the spot races were available, I think why not do them? Then we're in GT2, we're going to do the event generator. Same way in GT4, we're going to do the family cup. For all the, all the circuits in the game. It's available, why not do them? Time trials on that, you know, on the other hand, we're not going to do them at all because they're just time trials, that's it, they're just time trials. Maybe down to the second. There's a lot of things in this. Yeah, when I hit the red one, I thought, okay. okay. Now there's going to be probably two instances where we're going to have to buy two cars to spot Oh my god. <laughs> I did not realize the Sora would have a round like that. Well, we won. And even if we don't win these races, I mean, they don't count. They don't count for completion, so we could lose them. I'm basically just showcasing them. What kind of cars are we? Yep, 1,000 credits. Okay, let me save this replay. And let's do the next spot race. So spot race number two takes place at Trial Mountain, and they use Class A cars, so... I'm never gonna use this car, unfortunately, the Nismo GTR LM, so I might as well get in it, and might as well do the spot race with it, because why not? It's the only opportunity we're gonna have to drive it anyways, right? Alright, so for this spot race, we're racing against an NSX, Impreza, RX-7, Celica, and a GTO. Cool! Let's see how this Nismo 
Ang Now, what I advise to do these races if you're starting at the beach one, depends. So if you're like, hey TMC, um, should I do these races to understand the physics? Yes and no. Yes, if you skip arcade mode completely and you decide to just jump into your simulation slash game mode right away, then sure. Do some of these races, I mean, you'll probably figure out the licenses. The licenses answer, you'll probably figure out. But, this is still a good way to learn the physics of the game while competing with other cars. However, in arcade mode, you're going to be doing the same, and you're going to be driving all three types of cars, class, and not including this car. So, it really depends on what you do. I advise to do the spot mode races really for the practice. You really can't get the hang of the physics of the game. Like I said, we're just doing them because they're available. They're available in the GT mode. I thought it'd be a really interesting video, video. And just to see, you know, the rest of the cars in our garage that we're never gonna be able to drive in this game. by over 7 tenths of a second. Not bad. And another 1,000 credits. Once again, let me save this replay, and on to the next spot race. So the third one is Autumn Ring Mini, and they use Class C cars for that one. So we have one, we have one Class C car we haven't used, and it's the Honda CRX. Actually, no, I actually like this car a lot, so let's buy a new car, because we don't have any other Class C cars in our inventory. What does Nissan have to offer? Primera, Sylvia K. Well, we already used the Sylvia K. Well, actually, no, we haven't. Either. Sylvia Q, we already we won a Sylvia Q, so... I don't really see the point of using it. I was use an S14 Sylvia Q. But again, I don't really see the point. The appeal of nothing. A Mirage 3 door? Maybe. I don't know. Let's go to Honda real quick. CRX del Sol. I don't know. I don't think so. Wait, I just realized. Eno's Roadster. I could use Eno's Roadster after all. 
get a nice looking one. Let's go to the new dealership. What about the S special? And the V special. There's the Lantis. Okay, I don't really want to use the Lantis. Uh, let's go with the regular Dino Grubster. Actually, no, the S special because the S special has some pretty nice rooms. Do it right. All right, on to spot race number three. All right, so the entry list is CRX, or the same one we're going to use on Paul, SVO, Celica, S14, and two roasters. So what we got to do here at the start is I highly doubt we're going to be able to overtake the other guys unless we do it on the first map. But again, this is a really small crack. I don't mind really like but Brooks do momentum based. Ah, uh, we probably do the momentum I don't really see it as a uh, loss. Okay, looking good so far. a really short race too, only two laps long, it's not really a long distance race after all. Yeah, 47 second lap time, one more lap to go. Next lap time should be 44 seconds, 45 seconds. But still relatively close, I suppose. We win. Alright. I think that's the same order, except last place went first and we were last. Place. Okay, let me save this replay. And next spot race. So the next spot race takes place at Grand Valley East, and it uses Class B vehicles. I don't think we have any Class B cars to use. And if we do, we use them all already. Yep. All gone. So, we gotta buy one. Can I get a standard Supra? Mm, might be a little bit too OP. Oh, I know. Let's go to Honda. And, um, don't want to do the Type R, but we'll do the standard Integra. Let's do green. I like the green color. And, let's begin. So, the starting grid is... Arc 7 on pole, Prelude, a Z, oh, okay. Our car might be severely underpowered for this race, but who cares. Somehow we get a better launch than GTO. Yeah, I'm not understanding how the GTO not get a good launch. I wonder if front wheel drive car
to the arc center to start closing the arc right away. No? Yeah, I'm just in charge of this thing. I'm choice now. I wasn't really expecting it to be this quick. Right like, Type R, I was kind of expecting a lot more out of that, but. It was still a good choice. And we win the spot race once again. Very easy to do. Oh, it was the Z who was in second. Okay, that makes sense. So once again, let me save this replay and to the final spot race. So the final spot race takes place at Deep Forest and it uses Class C cars. Which is why I wanted to hold back and uh, use the CRX for that one. Just because I like this car a lot. And um, yeah, I think Autumn Ring Mini would have been a little bit too short. And I wouldn't have been able to use the car for that long. And for the final time, let's see our, ch our grid for the spot races. Mirage on Pulse, Starlight, Del Sol, Primera, and Ademio. Okay, here we go for the final time for spot races in this game.
And there we go. That's every spot mode. Uh, I'll say spot mode because I'm used to calling. I'm used to saying sport mode so much, like in GT Sport. But that's every single spot race complete. Let me save the replay and go back to the menu. So yeah, that's really about it for the spot races. I mean, there's not really much else to say. They're just a little nice little quick races that you can do. You know, to get some extra money or practice. And, um, yeah, now that the detour has been cleared, we can finally go back to our regularly scheduled programming in the next segment, which we'll be doing either the Grand Valley or the Special Stage Round 11 Enduro. Hopefully I don't have another blue screen of death during the middle of the Endurance. That would suck. Again, I'm the Movie Chicane. Have an awesome day, everybody.